Alrighty, so we have more signs of construction going on at Cedar Point. What everyone's been waiting for. More signs of construction and more signs of more things coming to Cedar Point. Alright, let's, let's not be jealous and let's actually dive in and analyze um, these signs of construction. Um, so there are um, these flags, markers, and stakes, and spray paint all over this area at Cedar Point. And um, I do have a good feeling, a, a good feeling of what it potentially could be for, just because the location doesn't suggest a roller coaster. And we know Cedar Point is probably getting a roller coaster in 2020. Cedar Point is that park that gets, you know, roller coasters every two or three years. Their 150 anniversary is coming and they are going to get a coaster. There's nothing we can do about it. It's great for the park. I go there every year, so I'm not upset about it. Um, but this area would fit a flat ride really well. And Cedar Point kind of has like an old um, flat ride collection that could use an upgrade. So I'm gonna look at some of the flat rides at Canada's Wonderland as that's kind of like the flat ride capital of the world that I could see potentially fitting in this area. And you guys comment below what you think could be coming in this area in 2019. Um, and if you disagree or agree with me. So the first one is the San Perla. So this one has a great capacity. Um, it was super thrilling. Uh, it looks nice and it would do really well at Cedar Point in a lot of areas, just like it did at Canada's Wonderland. And I could honestly see something like this fitting at Canada's Wonderland. Well, sorry, at Cedar Point, we just got it at Canada's Wonderland. Um, but yeah, I, I could really see this at Cedar Point. Do you guys think that this ride would fit at Cedar Point? Um, and would you be excited for a ride like this fitting at Cedar Point in 2019? Um, we know that Cedar Point is probably going to be adding a thrill ride every year, kind of like Canada's Wonderland does, just because Cedar Point needs that thrilling attraction each year to boost its attendance or keep its attendance at the same levels the year prior. Um, this is something Cedar Point has always kind of been the best at or needed the most. So I honestly see seeing, I honestly think we'll see Cedar Point moving into this direction of adding a thrilling attraction every year. Canada's Wonderland does it and Canada's Wonderland will automatically usually get attendance increase even without the thrilling attractions added. So I'm interested to see what Cedar Point does moving forward as I honestly feel like something thrilling is coming to Cedar Point each year. Um, another ride I could really see fitting at Cedar Point is this ride right here. Um, as you watch, you're going to see some enthusiasts going crazy on this ride. Um, I can get about 12 flips on this thing before I'm sick. And these people, I'm going to link um, one of them below. He holds like the record at Canada's Wonderland for flips. You can see him in the red there. Is absolutely insane. His method for flipping is phenomenal. Um, and it makes just so much sense. You have to see him. You have to go to the park with him and watch him. And maybe even he can show you how to flip. Um, but I can see this fitting at Cedar Point because Cedar Point is an enthusiast park and more enthusiasts would know how to, you know, operate this attraction um, unlike Canada's Wonderland. I do notice that there are a lot of general public at Canada's Wonderland and thus not many people flip on this attraction and it's more of like a sightseeing flat ride at Canada's Wonderland, unfortunately, unless, as you see here, there's an enthusiast on it who knows how to flip. In fact, once this thing gets to the ground, it stays there for another like three minutes as he continues to flip that he because he got so many forces. Um, so he just keeps going and it's absolutely insane. You gotta go check it out. Um, but yeah, comment below. What do you guys honestly think is coming to Cedar Point in 2019 as we wait for the 2020 coaster for their 150th anniversary? Do you think it's gonna be a flat ride? Do you think it's gonna be a coaster and then another coaster in 2020? Or do you think it's gonna be kind of like a show or some sort of family attraction or coaster and not necessarily a thrilling flat ride or coaster. Comment below what you guys think. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.